According to a new study by doctors at NYU, vaping causes DNA to mutate, which leads to cancer. What is happening? This is Inform Overload, where we overload you with information that maybe you wish you didn't know. That's all right. I prefer you know this information than start vaping because you think it's totally harmless. By the way, hey, I'm Charlotte. I'm your host. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for all your trending news here on YouTube. To vape or not to vape? That is the question. Whenever we do a video about the dangers of vaping, the vape niche gets really mad at me. It's like, yeah, we get it. You vape. And yeah, it might be a little bit better for you than smoking, but it is by no means risk free. In fact, according to a new study by New York University, it does cause cancer. Researchers at NYU exposed human bladder and lung cells to e-cigarette vapor. Vapor from e-cigs is marketed as a safer alternative to cigarettes. Vape companies will tell you that an e-cigarette is designed to avoid the carcinogenic byproducts of tobacco. Not only that, but Philip Morris, a leading international tobacco company, made some pretty outlandish claims that e-cigarette products could predict lower rates of disease and death in humans. Guys, of course they said that. They want you to buy their e-cigarettes because nobody's smoking anymore. Unless you live in Toronto, am I right? Yes, it's true. E-cigarettes get you your nicotine kick without burning tobacco. When you light a cigarette and inhale the burning contents, the smoke contains nitrosamine and carcinogenic chemicals. On the flip side, when you inhale the vapor from an e-cigarette, it mostly just consists of nicotine and some organic solvents that are supposed to be relatively harmless. This is why vaping has gotten the reputation as being safer than cigarettes. But what the researchers at NYU found was that the cells mutated and became cancerous at a higher rate than expected. They also exposed mice to e-cigarettes cigarette vapor and found that they suffered significant DNA damage as well. As a result, if you vape, yeah, you might be a little better off than a smoker, but definitely not better off than a non-smoker. You're still developing a risk of lung and bladder cancers as well as heart disease. So to vape or not to vape. Okay, I'm gonna respond to a few comments now. Darius Bluford said, I just started watching your vids and I already watched about 20 of them. Welcome to the squad, Darius. Glad you like our vids. Bradley Knight said, Charlotte, how do I get a girlfriend? Well, Bradley, that is actually a pretty tough question to answer, but I would say first figure out who you like, then figure out a way to casually flirt with her. Like, I'm not talking like creep vibes, I'm talking like just casual, just like, oh hey, like, like your shirt. You feel me? Then after you've talked a couple of times, ask her if she wants to grab ice cream or coffee or a drink, depending on how old you are. And if she says no, go get some gains at the gym and ask out her friend. Hey yo! <laughs> Lugo428 said, I'll keep commenting until you call me a tater tot. <sighs> Fine. Tater tot. We have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to check out this one over here where we show you exactly what happened to a guy who ate three Tide Pods. Hey, if you're on social media, check out Inform Overload on Twitter and Instagram and click the bell so you never miss one of our vids. See you later.